ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, tonight we've been called by a customer who has a driver that has a uh, an unfortunate GPS failure. It does happen. Uh, they made a wrong turn and attempted to turn around. We've had a lot of rain, and apparently the truck is just spinning in grass, mud, not exactly sure. Uh, but we're going to go see if we can help them out, get them back on the road, headed in the right direction. Here we go. Okay, looks like this be us. Maybe. get her to turn around. I don't know how bad it is. That's all. Do what? I was just thinking we'll be better pull from the rear. Well, I don't know. Let's go see. Standing water, standing water right here. Hello. Uh, no, to keep from ripping this bumper out, we're gonna have to take her forwards. Um, get her back up on the road and yeah, I don't know of any good place down here to turn around, but one step at a time. Let's get you up out of here. How about it? Yes, ma'am. All right, bud. We'll need the uh, Freightliner, at least one of the Freightliner hooks. Nope, up. Up. Freightliner. Somebody should have a good line of sight from there. Oh, we saw all kind of deer moving on the way out here. Those are actually the international. The, uh, what, here, let me tell you. The freight liners are the ones that dip down. They have right? the dip in them. Yep. The, Get those two confused. Yep. The international goes straight back before it uh, curls up. The freight liner curls, drops before it curls. Which was 
switch. I think we can probably get by with just one, bud. Just one? Yeah. Let's try just one. Well, that, that's okay. Go ahead. You can go ahead and put them both in. It's fine. I was just going to say, I can make it up here. No, it's all right. Just go ahead and put them both in. That way, if we have to switch from side to side. Get it locked. Yeah. Well, we're going to try see if the drag winch will spool out that far. Oh man. Drag winch, I'm right here at it. Uh, I got her now. That's not good. We need, yeah, we need a strap. Uh, you know what, bud? They're clear, yeah. Which strap do you want? Some green? Get, uh, no. We either want, uh, I want a floating strap. So one of our red ones, probably an eight footer would be fine. Eight or 10 foot. Eight or 10 footers, just grab one of those or. I think this is, uh, I think that's a 20. What's this? That's 20. Yeah, that's 20. We could double it back, but here, what's this right here? I think that's another 20. No, nope, that's an eight. Okay. That'll work. Now, but what I mean by floating strap is the hook will go here, and then this will go into each side of the hooks on the uh, uh, casualty. Right. Yep. Here, go ahead and set it up. Here, go ahead and set it up. Go ahead, I'll get it. I'll get the other one. You get that set up down there. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the remote right now. Yep, and then just grab the green. All right, ma'am. That's all right. Uh, start your truck, release the brakes. Uh, is this a manual or an automatic? Automatic, automatic? okay. Uh, put it in drive, but do not push the accelerator. Just let me pull, okay? And uh, we'll have, we'll kind of guide you out because if you turn too sharp, it'll plow and it won't steer. We'll, we'll guide you through it, okay? We got you. You got it? Yep, green winch in. There you go. Do you have all your brakes released? Okay. Brakes released, put it in drive, but do not push the accelerator, okay? Go ahead. Just, 
go with this for now. Straighten your wheel just a little bit. There you go. It's moving right now. It's got it's got a hold of that throat. Go ahead. Turn your wheel to the left just a little more, please. There you go. It was plowing and digging up or building up too much dirt back here. Now it's starting to roll on top, which is what I wanted. Really would have preferred to have a 10 footer, but that works. But you see how it floats in between there? I didn't like the way that it was on Yeah, I know, I know. I don't like side pulling those hooks either. There you go. Bring her all the way up as far as you can get her. It ain't going nowhere. It's actually pushed off to the side of it, so it, it's good. Go ahead, go ahead. Get her up here as close as you can. All right, set your brakes and put it in neutral or park. We're gonna have to reset, okay? All right, let some pressure out. Is that good? Do what? Is that good or do you want me to just put it on brace pull and pull forward? No, we'll just pull pull forward a little bit. Yeah, she's not gonna be able to get out of there. It's- oh, I, I know, I just meant, do you want me to free spool it and then pull forward or unhook and pull forward? No, just free spool. and raise the outrigger, bring the outrigger in. We don't need the outrigger anymore now that we're not putting any side on it. And what's the rule here? For not getting too greedy. If you go too far forward, what happens? Then you lose your uh, side. Forward. You lose your side angle and it'll want to follow the ditch. Nice. So you take it in small increments. That's what I was explaining to Gavin earlier today with the charger. All right, go up, 
I don't know, 10, 15 feet at most. I wouldn't go up much more than that. Okay. Otherwise, like you said, you will lose. Yeah. Did you verify free spool? Huh? Did you verify free spool? You're good. Hey, Ethan, hug the center line too. Don't block the road, but just hug the center line. A lot of people ask about the drop axle because every time you see it, it's normally up. Whenever the parking brake gets released, the drop axle goes down. And when he moves forward here, you'll see it roll. Go ahead and release your brakes again. Put it in drive and turn your wheels to the left just a little bit. Straighten them up. Otherwise, it's going to start pulling you sideways. All right, go ahead, Ethan. Turn them left. See, otherwise, it's not going to not want to go forward on you. There you go. There we go. That's what we need. You try to turn too much and it'll just pull you sideways instead of going forward. Then once you get on the concrete, then you can cut it hard right and bring it back around after we get the drives back up. All right, now you can start turning right. Oop, maybe not. <laughs> Go ahead and straighten it back out. Sorry, my bad. You were still on the uh, gravel over here. You weren't all the way on the pavement. I'm not. All right. All right, set your brakes. Hold on, Ethan. Set your brakes, pull on her. Bring that front end over a little bit. That way she's not out in the middle of the road. Okay, stop. Free spool and go forward again. One more pull, we ought to have her. It, it went, you're good. Only thing I see wrong is the drag winch hook is upside down. Which is pulling sideways, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but not in this instance. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. All right, whoa. How about whenever you shot it at me, you were telling me to stop? No, nope, that's all right. All right, you ready? This should be the last one, be able to get you up on the road. Uh, let me make sure nobody's coming over on this side. Brakes released, put it in park like we had it. What? Uh, 
Okay, Ethan, go. Bring it towards me. That's all right, go ahead. Go ahead, if you can move on your own, go ahead. Bring it on out, bring it on out. Now, cut it back to the left. Cut it left, cut it left, cut it left. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, hold on just a minute, man. Woo! Back on the road, but we ain't out of here yet. Hey, I was looking at the map. Um, it looks like I'm trying to get back to 55. So yes, ma'am. I'll make a. I'll back all the way up and then make a left on the 177, and then. Once we get back up there, we're going out to the interstate too. You can just follow us. Awesome. All right. Uh, what we're gonna go down and find a spot to turn around. You just get yourself up here and put your four ways on. Make sure somebody doesn't run into you, yeah. and then we'll help lead you back. Okay. Yep, fold it up, please. If we can find a place to turn around back here. hit my low idle. I had everything up on high. All right, let's roll. There was a rail access up here. I don't know if she would have room to get in or not. So you want to just try to follow us back here? Okay, yep, I'll escort you back this way and then we'll get all the numbers when we're safely off the road, okay? All right, you got this. deep in water in that field. I know but you're a little bit taller than I am. Just a little bit. I was like right above ankle deep. So far these boots are still waterproof. So what's she doing? Do what? Where is she coming around? Uh if we can get up to it, there's a uh, big lot uh entrance for uh so right now she's Proctor and Gamble. Yes. She's gonna oh. back yeah. 
Yeah, she's gonna follow us. That's why I don't have my back at lights on. I'm just gonna let her follow us real nice and easy. Uh, at first I was joking. I was gonna say, well, she can just back up the rest of the way. But that's what she's gonna do. Doing. Yeah, she's gonna do it. She felt comfortable doing it. Uh, yeah, if we can get right up here, you see the lights, that's Procter & Gamble. Yeah. There's a uh, big spot to turn around, not far past this uh, top of this hill. Well, that's after you turn on to well, yeah. 177. Side of PNG, part of the power plant, if I'm not mistaken. She's doing good. Of course, I'm staying in the middle of the road to give her plenty of room to maneuver, and thankfully, this road isn't very heavily traveled. So, that right there is when you need that multi speed reverse. Yeah, no kidding. semi though yeah yep would have been good for us in this we could have just backed out of here with her but then we wouldn't have our red and blues facing forward it up and get on top of this hill in case somebody comes over. Not leaving her behind, I just want to get up here and be an advanced warning. Blinding me with it, it's it's bouncing off the mirror. It's a little streamlined style. It's just a little work line, very line. She's doing real good. couple of the shorty pocket ones then I've got a pin size one then I've got the one that I keep on my hip all the time uh, I don't have that cool one like you and Mike have the slender one with the little flip switch this one the stylus okay yeah I don't have one like that I'm gonna say because the stylus is uh, yeah, different. The I tell you what, the for the price, I like the Night Core. Yeah, that's what I use quite a bit of. Uh, well, I like this one because it's pocket size and really yeah. bright and Type C charger. Yeah. Well, I've, I've got nothing against Streamlight. Streamlight's a good light. I just, uh, uh, for the price and the lumens, the Nightcore makes a, a good good light. Well, also, uh, I like the fact that I get warranty on this one. Because Mike's, his wedge, the battery went out and not long ago. He's had it forever. And he just got a new light for me. Okay. I think it's 11. 
affordable, I'd like to have one of those that's like eight to 10,000 lumens. Yeah. But the heads on them are so big, they're not practical to carry. Well, I've got my Stinger 2020. Yeah, even that's not, in my opinion, not practical to carry. When I'm wearing overalls, it's nice because I can throw it in the little leg pocket. Mm-hmm. Small one, fits yep. perfect. Swift gets a bad rap, but like this lady, when I called her earlier to try to find out where she was at, she was as polite as she could be, apologetic for having to get us out, uh, and you saw how she was there. She's just nice as she can be, and backing up in the dark when you're already stressed out, she's doing an excellent job. I mean, just. This is the first time she's had to pull up. Moving that far, that's a <laughs> that's a good. They'll turn in right there because that's where I was oh, talking yeah, about. That's, that's the road entrance. Road. That's one of the entrances to uh, yeah. P and G. So it looks like one of the little. So we'll check it out, but I think she can uh, back in here and have enough room to. If they don't have the concrete barricades in such a fashion where she can't. She can always back past it though and pull in. That might be better, have her back past it. All right, you got this, come on.
under it. Get back under it. And my left leg's getting a uh, workout on this here clutch. Another situation where that uh, Eaton Cummins automatic would be uh, mighty fine. Check it, but that's probably what a good mile that she's had to back up. Impressive, very impressive. Go tell her to uh, back up past that and get turned around there safely. And then we'll lead her back. Yep, back up past it near us and then pull into. You're doing a fine job, excellent job. Okay, what I would suggest, just pull up beside our truck and then you'll be able to swing into that lot and make us, uh, no, you can make us a, a perfect U-turn. There's plenty of room down inside that lot. That's part of Procter & Gamble. Oh, okay. So if you back up beside our truck, you'll be able to drive straight in and turn around. Okay? I've got you, I've got you. You keep coming, you're doing great.
Keep on coming, doing good, doing good. You're okay, keep coming on. All right. Now, if you look right down here, there's a big lot off to the right. You see those trailers? That's, uh, all right, you just turn right, right here. Uh, go all the way down. Just go right before the guard shack. Uh, and turn right into this big lot and make a loop oh, and come right back out here. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. I got yeah. It. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I'll, I'll lead you down there. You're good. All kind of room to turn around. Stay on the pavement though. There you go, there you go. Whoo, she got that one just right. You got it. Thank you so Woo! much. All right. Let me get some numbers off here real quick and then we'll lead you back out to the interstate. All right. Fine young lady did a wonderful job backing up. She misjudged the ground conditions. It can happen, I've done it. Anyway, we'll lead her back out to the interstate. She's turned around, she's behind us. She's gonna follow us into the, out to the interstate and then I'll flash my lights at her when it's time to, for her to turn off. She's gonna go up to the, uh, northbound rest area and call it a night.
told her I'd lead her out. And when I flash my lights, she needs to turn right and go north, and we'll keep going straight through the lights. She just hit her turn, headed back north on 55. We're getting ready to get back on south 55 and head back to the shop. All is well, no injuries, no damage. Best case scenario. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.